All right, we've got our 24 volt series parallel system fully commissioned, and I wanna run through another potential use case scenario here. So I'm just gonna discharge the bank with a heat gun at a relatively high power, so let's say around 60 amps with this heat gun. So I'll give it a few seconds here to let the, the app establish with the hub what the steady state current readings are. And once it settles down at around 60 amps, Okay, we're gonna take a look at each leg and see what they're delivering in terms of current. So on the left leg, we've got 22 amps, and on the right leg, we've got 37 amps. So you can see we've got a current mismatch. And normally when you have a current mismatch like that, you definitely wanna go and explore your system because what it could mean is that you've got a high resistance point. And this is one of the most frequent errors that we've seen in systems out in the field, which is that over time you've got a high resistance point that creates enough heat that it actually damages the system, whether it's a fuse or a, a connection or even the connection on the battery. And well, we actually did that on purpose here. We loosened the battery terminals. So we're gonna tighten the terminals now and run the same test again and see what we get. All right, now that I've made sure all the connections are tight, Let's run the same test again. So I'll put the same 60 amp load on the system and now we'd expect a little bit more equal uh, currents. Now we do have these mismatched, so we do have one battery that's at a much lower state of charge, which means it might have a little bit more impedance, so we wouldn't expect exactly equal current, uh, but in any case, now we've got 27 amps in that leg and 32 amps in the other leg. So just an example to demonstrate that if you do see uh, large imbalances in current for parallel connected systems, parallel connected strings or batteries, then you definitely want to come in and explore and verify that all your connections are tight. It's just a potential indication that you could have a problem. And if you don't, that's fine. If It could be because you've got large differences in the state of charge in the batteries that are in parallel. But generally speaking, if you have a well-balanced system, you would not expect large variations in current. So in this case, we purposefully created a bad connection. We observed a large variation in the currents between the two parallel legs. We fixed it, and then we ran the test again and showed that we actually have a much better optimized system, even though, as I mentioned, we purposefully imbalanced these batteries. But in general, it's very important to look to make sure that your parallelly connected batteries or strings are delivering the same current and the intelligence system is a great way to monitor that that's happening.